They are at the post. And they are racing. Good start for Devilish Tail. There goes under the Coovers, who broke sharply after the lead. Deep Mind is next. Golden Pence up the inside. Hard Knight came away racing in fourth. Franco's team is a fifth at about three and a half off the pace, two in front of Roth. Then a couple links further back to Devilish Tail and Sir Deuces is out the back door. Midpoint through the turn. Fifteen links top to bottom chasing under the Coovers. Shows the way a length and a half. Golden Pence hard held to the inside from second. Covered up by Deep Mind in third. Uh, up to the outside. Franco's team is fourth. Nowhere to go for Hard night. He's just had to check back into fifth. Roth circles up to the outside of that one as they're still chasing under the Coovers, who arrives to the top of the lane with a three-length lead. Now room at the inside for Hard Knight to come on through. Up to the outside, Golden Pits, one furlong to go, and under the Coovers is under siege. Golden Pits to the outside, Hard Knight to the inside as Golden Pits ratcheting up the pressure and pushing on by, and Golden Pits, and who Leo Felix going to win by almost a half a dozen. Hard Knight got up to be second over under the Coovers, then it was either Franco's team in deep mind, and uh, that's the first from Turfway. Golden Pants at a decent number to start the pick five. And they are racing. Slow beginning for Box of Joe. Quick start, though, for the gray sea spot run. Also hustled from between horses. There goes Barbarino. And up on the outside, Cindy's G-Man. So up the backside, Cindy's G-Man has the lead just from Bullseye Shooter. From between horses, Barbarino. Petty Thief to the outside. Seesaw run broke sharp, but he's uh, backpedaling early there. Just got passed by Underdressed and about to be passed by Old Bo. Then a length and a half further back to a gun rush. Box of Joe is second last, and Gallant Dude at the back of the pack. The quarter was 22 and 4, 3 furlong from the money. Cindy's G Man shows the way. Bullseye Shooter second. Barbarino long shot from third. Petty Thief to the outside. Now, underdressed splitting horses moves up into fourth. Gaining ground. Old Bow up the inside. Out wide from the back. A blitz from Gun Rush as they continue to race around the turn. And Box of Joe has found his feet as they race around the turn to the top of the lane, aiming at Cindy's G Man. Half mile 47 and 1. And Cindy's G Man off the turn in front by a length and a half. Deep on the course. Here's underdressed. Way out wide. Gun Rush is full of run. And here comes Gun Rush, shifting ground, but has the lead. Box of Joe is uh, raced up into second with a 16th left to go. And Gun Rush, a good-looking uh, son of violence, wins at first asking by almost two. Box of Joe was second, a three-way pitcher for third, involving C-spot run, underdressed in Old Bow. The running time, 113 and three. Gun Rush for Jimmy Corrigan, home a winner. And they are racing. Quick beginning for Fred's Country Boy. Also tap the mojo. Where we going? Copper fiddle. All flashing speed on the run the first turn. Fanned way out across the course. About seven or eight deep there. Meanwhile, Fred's Country Boy has the lead and the fence as they work around the opening turn four across the course. Advancing to the outside of that one. Drink, tap the mojo, and copper fiddle. The Pirate settles along in fifth, only a length and a half off the pace, and there's not much pace on as Crown the, to the Gold is six, only three off the lead. Then comes Emperor's Gold, who's two in front of Where We Going, a link further back to Chavez. Honorable Hero is next as they continue to run up the backside. The quarter was 24 and two. The leader from between horses tapped the mojo to the inside, Drink. Three wide comes a Copper Fiddle, who's racing along in third position. Those three almost right across the course. Then two and a half further back to crown the gold and the Pirates race as a team, just about two in front of uh, Fred's Country Boy. Where we going is deep on the course, but we're running on from between horses Chavez. Half mile, 48 and three. Drink has the lead. Tap the mojo. Pressures to the outside. Copper Fiddle being ridden hard, but no, no response there. Just got passed by crown to the gold. From the backfield, here come the closers. Fred Country Boy closing in. Also, Honorable Hero is finishing with interest. Going to be about six deep, though, as they reach the top of the home stretch. Three quarters in 114. And Drink at 8-5 to five will whip them in. Up to the outside, tap the mojo, set to strike. Three wide is crowned to the gold. And down the center of the track, here comes Fred's Country Boy. Up the fence is Chavez, wide open with a 16th to go. Drink is still there. Crown to the gold is still lunging. Drink, crown to the gold is working on him. Crown to the gold, Drink, and Drink is is hanging on, drink by a long neck to crown the gold who was second, and then a picture for third as well in 141 and three. And they are racing. 
Quick start for La Beliza Negra, who was quick into stride, also overly critical. He reigns and uh, time has come as forwardly placed. Now from between horses, Tropic Storm is really headstrong and tugging hard against the jockey. Split horses and raced up into second on the run down the backside. He reigns now in the fifth position. The judge and jury advancing underneath that one. Lola's bow is going the wrong way. Still linked back to Macon Bank as they pass the half mile pole. Three and a half furlongs to go. Fifteen links top to bottom. And La Beleza Negra at four to five shows away by two. Time has come is second. Up the inside continuing to grind away the judge and jury. Overly critical is being shoved hard for some more speed from fourth. Tropic Storm has stalled from fifth. From the backfield, Macon Bank is running on as they race around the turn. The quarter was 22 and four. They pass the quarter mile pole, top of the home stretch, half mile 46 and three. And it's La Beliza Negra, the one to reel in, off the turn with a two-and-a-half length cushion. The judge and jury had a long, sustained rally. He's still under a whip in second. Overly critical, lugging in hard there from third. In the final, Florence Furlong, La Beliza Negra is home and cooled out. Morales in victory formation here. La Beliza Negra, a much the best winner. The judge and jury was second, overly critical third, and Macon Bank completed the Super in 112 and 2. And they are racing to a level beginning in the 30-second running of the Leonidas Stakes. And it was a good beginning for all. Quick start for Wish Me Home. Also advancing underneath. Zumbi in a race broke sharply. 24 Mamba was put in tight in the first turn run and checked. And as Chismoso just took up off heels, and that one is last. So eventful opening Turn there for the field here in the Leonidas and erase. Trouble free is cleared off by a length and a half. Zumbi will track him from second. Wish me home the long shot from third. Down on the inside, 24 Mamba now settles along in fourth to the inside of the favorite Friar Lawrence, who is fifth up the backside. Deep on the course is Ain't Straight, then a link for the back to OP Firecracker, who is two in front of Rich Strike, then two back to Amicable, and after that check of the first turn, Chismoso can see them all. Up the backside they go, just outside a half mile to go. They got the quarter, 24 and two. Comfortable fractions being set by a race. The sun dialed in on the stretch out. Shows the way by a half length. Zumbi applies the heat to the outside there in second. Wish me home from third. 24 Mambo, full of run to the inside. Just need a clean place. And now races up to the inside of Zumbi and overtakes second. A link for the back. It's OP Firecracker as they race around the turn. A race controlling the tempo here in the Leonidas. 24 Mamba set to strike from second. OP Firecracker moves three wide for the drive. Friar Lawrence is under the whip. The favorite is fourth and has seven lengths to raid. He's in deep water, top of the home stretch, and a race has made every yard, but it'll have to deal with 24 Mamba. Up to the outside, OP Firecracker has launched his assault. They're inside the final furlong, and it's a race trying to hold in front by two and a half. 24 Mamba is not going to get to him, and a race all the way. Razor sharp to take the Leonidas Stakes in front running fast. Stops the timer in 139 and three. A race. The son of dialed in goes all the way for Bob Lapenta, the Madikit Stables, to win the 30 second running of the Leonidas. She's in. They are at the post. And they are racing. Amari S. with an alert beginning, Sweet Ginger flashing speed, Dimples of Venus forwardly placed as well. Keeps growing up to outside of that trio from between horses, Wanta Ballerina, and Mini Dress is up in the thick of things too, just about five leagues off the lead. Two leagues further back to Top Hat Boss, who came away racing second last in the gray race smart, will have to run by them all. Up the backside, they pass the half mile pole, chasing Sweet Ginger, who's loose on the lead, bumped the margin to a length and a half after a quarter, 23 seconds flat. Into the far turn, just about three furlongs from the money. And Sweet Ginger has built up a two length lead, keeps scrolling, is tracking from second. Wanta Ballerina stuck on the fence from third. Dimples of Venus is fourth. Mini Dress and Amari S are the next two, still a link back to Top Hat Boss, and Race Smart still out at the back of the pack. One quarter to go. And Sweet Ginger still driving on a two-length lead. Half mile 47 and one. And as they lean into the lane, it's Sweet Ginger. Off the turn is opened up three on Keep Scrolling who stalled from second. From between horses, Mini Dress is running on down the center. Both Dimples of Venus and Amari S. But with a 16th left to go, Sweet Ginger still there. She's shortening stride. Top Hat Boss lunging up to the outside. Here they come. It's going to get tight. A three-way thriller. Tight photo finish between Sweet Ginger and Marius and Top Hat Boss in 114 and 2. 
the even money set to strike, covered up, though, by Rene Remain Anonymous. Up to the extreme outside, Yogurt is next. Still nothing yet from Hababanero. Rounding the turn to the top of the home stretch, Fouette is still there by a length, but now daylight for Thundering Creed. And here comes Thundering Creed right off the pace setter's flank as they straighten away for the stretch drive. And Fouette leads down to a half length as Thundering Creed is bearing down. And Thundering Creed powering to the front with a 16th to go. And Thundering Creed for the blackout racing is going to roll to victory. Thundering Creed wins by almost five at the end. Tight photo for second. Remain anonymous to the outside of Longshot Hababadero from last to got up to that photo there as well in 112 flat. And they are racing. Hop at the start again for Bodacious Baby tonight. Quick start for Rena De La Rose advancing underneath her Hideki and getting out of here. So up the backside they go, Hideki. Shows the way. Get on out of here through from the inside to be second. Western Skies away in the third position. Reina De La Rose is fourth. Risata tracks that quartet from fifth in front of Nile River Queen, who is in sixth. Out there deep on the course, it's Karina's way. From between horses, now advancing to the inside is Gold Spinner. Then a link for the back to Jersey Gold, but Aisha's baby's on the move as they race into the turn. The quarter, 23 seconds flat. The leader, get on out of here. Hideki is, comes on back to rebid there to the outside from second. Meanwhile, Rosada is locked and loaded to the inside. Landero's just sitting still, and she's breezing up well in hand here, coming at those top duo as they race around the turn. The half, 47 and 2. Hideki back up and after, get on out of here. Rosata now given the cue. She's out in the clear and coming, charging hard now. Here comes Rosata after Hideki with a furlong to go. It is Rosata up to the outside of Hideki. And Rosata's going by with a 16th to go. Hideki still boxing on. Rosata has gained the upper hand. She's racing green, but she's racing away to win it. Hideki was second. Nile River Queen third. Then it was Bodacious Baby. And get on out of here in 113 and 1.